morning, everybody. Digger Don here on a beautiful Saturday morning. Going out for a solo hunt this morning. I got about uh, got about 30, 40 minutes to kill before I get to where I'm going. So I want to take this opportunity to do a, a shout out for a friend of mine, Tom, uh, otherwise known as Hiluxiota, on uh, on YouTube. Uh, Tom has been doing videos now for this past year. He's put out some really really nice videos. Finds a lot of good finds. Um, he hunts. He hunts everywhere. He does construction sites, parks, homes. Um, he does rivers. I've hunted with him quite a few times, and, and uh, he, he always does well. And we always have a blast. Um, and the other reason I'm doing a shout out now is he's currently doing a hundred sub contest, and he's got some very, what I consider very generous prizes that he's giving away. Some nice silver, um, and he's running it basically two different drawings. He's doing one for uh, pretty much just uh, sub and, and like, and you have a chance to, to you know, to win some silver. Um, he's also doing a shout out drawing, uh, and the prize for that is, you know, it's exceptional as well. Um, and it might be in your best interest to check him out because as of this video, I believe I'm going to be his only shout out, which means I'm going to win that prize. And uh, I already told Tom that if I'm the only one, uh, I'm not going to take the silver. But I want a silver because it's some nice stuff. So hopefully I can get a few of you guys to do shout outs for him as well. Uh, and then maybe that I can get in the drawing because, you know, I want to win. No, seriously, though. Um, check him out. I think you'll be doing yourself a favor. He does he does great videos. Um, and like I said, he just reached 100 subs. I like to get them up to you know a couple hundred. I like to do what I can to help them out. When I did my sub video, I you know I had some people help me out. And, you know, it was appreciated. So, but like I said, you know do yourself a favor, check it out. Um, I think you'll enjoy his videos. All right, enough about Tom. Um, I got about another 20 minutes. I'm going to be there. Hopefully, I have some stuff to show you after this. So uh, we'll see you when we get there. You guys have a great day. Been out for a while today. Not having a lot of luck. Ground's really dry. Um, just got a signal here. This, this lawn I've been doing has been extremely quiet. Uh, no, no sounds at all. And all of a sudden, I hit a 12:37 at seven inches, and uh, I don't know if you can see it, but we got a, we got an Indian. I looked at it a little bit. Looks like a 1907. So I'll clean it up and show it to you. But uh, cool. I, you know, I found something. I got a couple of weedies here too. So I'm happy. I finally got something. There we go. It's a pretty good picture. Well, let's see what else we can get. See you guys at the next one. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, digging the back here of an old house. Not sure of its age. It does have a limestone foundation. But I found another button. Hopefully I can get a picture of this. Uh, kind of sunny. And it's a button with an eagle on it. Now, once again, I'm not a button guy. I found that one the other day in Ohio. And now I found this. And this thing is cool. Um, it's got a shank on it. It's a two-piece. It's about the size, just a little bit smaller than a half dollar, so it's got a little size to it. Let me clean this thing up and show it to you, but this is uh, this is pretty cool. I like it. It's starting to turn into a button guy. I like this. <laughs> See you at the next. All right, still here at the same yard. I don't know if you can see that way down there. It's probably not. A little little sunny but anyway it's down there about nine inches um, I chased this one I was kind of surprised it's Washington but uh, a Washington it is and a Washington makes me happy so happy to get it been a slow silver day today but uh, this yard's produced a lot of wheat got that button out of here but uh, it looks like a 44 44 Washington happy to have it all right, guys, I'll clean up a little bit better and show you a better picture, and I'll see you in a minute, hopefully, with another one. Okay, everybody, how you doing? Uh, I am back. I'm about to show you my best find of the day, best find of the week. Um, doing an old house here in a small town. Uh, this is my third one I've ever found. I love these coins more than anything else, and that is why. 
And I thought I was digging a deep wheat signal, but it just sounded, oh man. Um, that side you can't see yet. Let me see if I can clean this up a little bit with some Diet Coke and get a better look at it. But my God, I I, I, am, I know I don't sound it because uh, I always try to sound real calm on, this, on the videos. But so, I'm happy. <laughs> I love these coins. Damn. All right, let me clean it up a little bit. All right, I'm back. Hands still shaking just a little bit. 64. It's an 1864. Sorry I'm shaking, folks. Uh, I get excited when I get these. I just love these. All right, this is going to clean up nice. I'll show you a better picture in a few minutes. See you at the next. All right, guys, still here. Hey, here's something I don't find very often. It's a... Uh, now bear with me here. It's a harmonica reed. But what what is weird about this one is that it's intact and there's two of them. I mean, the whole harmonica is here except for the wood. The rivets are still here on the ends. And uh, I've never seen one attached like this before. It's the full, the full reed, both sides. All right, hey, pretty cool. All right, let's go find another two center though. Good afternoon, everybody. Digger Don here. It's a Saturday afternoon. Beautiful day. I'm out with my buddy Tim over there. Um, just got here. Been talking for the homeowners for about, probably about an hour. Uh, learning about the history of this home in this area. Which is kind of cool. I like learning that stuff. And uh, Just got on the, on the grassy area. There's a lot of land here, as you can probably tell. Um, this whole area is a historic area. A lot of big yards. Just got my first hole. Told uh, Tim and homeowners I think I got silver and didn't make a liar about, out of me. Um, here I am. I have not looked at it yet. It's actually still in the clump of dirt, but I can see it down there. Pressed into that thing. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it with the... Oh. I don't know if you can see it with the sun, but I've definitely got myself a silver dime. And... <laughs> it's a rosy. I'll take it all day long. What do you got? got a rosy, Tim. Rosy, right. Can't tell you the date yet. I'll look at it in a second. But okay. but awesome. But uh, once again, this is uh, just an awesome spot to hunt. Just uh, uh, a lot of land here. There's got to be more here. Honestly, I was kind of hoping this was going to be a little bit older. It was down about six inches. But once again, I'm not complaining. I, I love silver in any shape, uh, any shape or form. See you at the next one. Okay, I'm back. Uh, got ourselves a, looks like a token of some sort. Not sure what we got there. Got some writing on it. I'll clean it up when I get home. Uh, looks like it's Joliet, it says on it. And I see the word bar. Um, I don't know. When I get home, I'll clean it up and I'll show you a better picture. But cool. Uh, here with Tim. Tim just got himself a uh, silver. I was walking back from the car with a camera so I can take a picture of my Indian that I just found. But uh, very cool. Better silver than my rosy I got earlier. Good job, man. Thank nice you, buddy. Too. And then uh, here's a silver and mine is green. <laughs> I guess as long as I'm standing here, I might as well. It's a worn one. It's an 1878. Yeah, I missed that one by a, <laughs> by a year. 77 is rare? Yeah, 77 would be a good one. Yeah, 77 would be a really good one. <laughs> but uh, get a 78, I'm happy. Uh, back is still, I haven't cleaned I it yet. Am, this I is am. a little bit worn, too. I usually get them in better shape than this. I'm not complaining. Once again, this is this is fantastic. <laughs> um, looks like, uh, but it's a, it's an old one, so I'm happier than heck. So, very cool. This is the, the house that we're doing, and uh, there's my gear over there, and we're going to find some more stuff underneath that tree. So we'll see you at the next one. All right, I'm back. Uh, she had a real nice signal. Uh, it was like 1246, 1247 on the E-Track. I thought for sure I had silver. It was down about seven inches. But it's not. But it is a 
It is a medallion of some sort. Um, not sure what it is. It looks religious, obviously. Um, I don't know. I will clean this up and, and show you. But uh, it doesn't feel like silver. It's not cleaning up like silver, but uh, it ring up high, so it's probably aluminum. <laughs> Who knows? But I'll, I'll clean it up and show you a picture in a minute. All right, let's see if we can find some more here. Just got a silver signal, and I see a silver rim, and I see a marble. Let's start with the marble. Um, kind of cool. I like finding marbles, but now for the fun stuff. We got a quarter. I have not looked at it yet. That's Washington. That's awesome. The date's going to be... The 1957. Absolutely awesome. Alright, let's find some more. Alright, got the Washington right there. Went down along the sidewalk and came back up along the driveway here. And we got ourselves a mark. Almost missed this one. I had a hard time finding it. Ended up being out of the hole in the grass and popped it out. Um, yeah, you know, let me clean it up a little bit and I hate to. It took a 44. Alright, awesome. Let's do. Let's get some more. Alright, guys, still out. Uh, came over to another location. Uh, people over here seem to be really nice. Um, very shallow. It's about an inch now. It's probably about two inches down before I popped it. Haven't looked at it yet. Just saw it and said I got one. And it looks like I've got. Uh, you definitely got a rosy. Well, I can't really read that. I'm sure you guys can. It's just my eyes. Looks like it might be a 50 something, but awesome. Maybe we'll find some more. He uh, just came out and told us we go ahead and do the backyard too, and the backyard is pretty large, so we'll give it a shot. See you guys at the next. Black squirrel. I gotta love those things. Huh. Don't see those too often. <laughs> 